My name is Tarek French. I am a graphic artist, uh, architect, and an overall creative. I am 39 years old and I work for Image One Jamaica Limited. I have always been an artist. It's a natural thing for me. I've never went to school for it, or gone to school for it, I should say. It's just a natural thing. Ever since I can remember, I mean, I started off with comic books, you know, and that type of thing went on to movies and stuff. You know, just, just things that piqued my interest. I started drawing them, and that is how I got into art. The reason for me even going into architecture in the first place is because my parents told me that art didn't make any money. Because that was back in the day when, you know, you didn't have any um, prominent artists that were popular that were making money that people could say, oh, you know, use this person as an example. So they were like, art not going to make any money. We want to be successful. So I think you should go in the architecture direction. That is why I even went there. Went there, did it. I mean, I was successful at it, but it was just not my passion. My proudest moment as a designer is watching the 7 o'clock news and seeing my artwork behind the Prime Minister. To be honest with you, I mean, I do a whole lot of stuff that I think is greater than that, but those are the works that got me the most attention. And I mean, I appreciate it because it's, it's allowing people to pay attention to other things that I have to offer, which, which is great. They approached us um, to do a more modern like, take on it because they didn't have a lot of digital stuff in regards to like Jamaica House logo and the coat of arms and stuff like that. So that was the first initial need for us to, you know, um, to give a, lend a hand in that regard. When I saw what they had, I in, in turn had to basically come up with my version because the first version of like the coat of arms was done by um, an artist called Gonzalez. Um, that was his interpretation of what the coat of arms is supposed to look like. But it has been done so many times that a lot of the details and a lot of the um, core, um, what, what do you call them now, um, elements have been lost in translation over, over time. So uh, what I did, I went ahead, went through like 10 different images from as far back as I could find to the most recent. Uh, I went and did some, his, some, some research in terms of where they got the idea for the, for the coat, of, coat of arms, which came from a family crest, an English family crest, and all that type of stuff. So I was able to go in and get some details that were lost and basically try to represent it in a modern, in a modern, authentic way. It's like the faces were a little bit obscure, the, the body, like the anatomy of the bodies were a bit off. So I had to correct some of that to make it more, uh, more realistic, you know, and more appealing. Um, elements like even the alligator, like the teeth, um, the scales on his back, the way how he's positioned. I wanted it to have a modern, authentic feel. Barrington Watson is my favorite Jamaican artist. Like, um, I love illustration. Like, pencil drawings and illustrating is my, is my thing. And I think um, any drawing, any painting, anything creative starts off with a good illustration. And he was like top-notch at illustrating. Not to mention the painting and bringing expressions alive and then capturing our culture. I mean, I, I, that second to none. If um, and when I, I, I do leave Image One, um, I just want to continue creating. My thing is that I want to make an impact in Jamaica and, and, and also the world. I want to be recognized as a Jamaican artist. You know what I mean? I want to have that impact. I want my work to be sought after to be collectible, you know, and that is, that, is, that is where I really ultimately want to be. I don't, I'm not sure what avenue is going to take me there, but it's going to be a creative path for sure. Well, Bosa Jamaica now is a t-shirt, well, it started off as a t-shirt company. I mean, it's eventually going to branch off into a whole lot more than that, but that is um, my baby. It started off as a, a t-shirt company and it's actually doing very well. Um, my thing right now is basically showcasing Jamaican culture in a modern, authentic way. You know what I mean? Um, that is, is different from the typical. Normally, when you think about Jamaican clothing lines and clothes from Jamaica, you think about the whole Iron Man and you know, the, 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 the market lady walking with a basket on her head, which is which nothing is wrong with that. That is still a part of our culture. But at the same time, we have much more than that to, to offer. You know what I mean? And I wanted to people to think of products and goods coming from Jamaica as being quality goods. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm.